Cancer is not simply a disease of tissue, but rather a disease of genetic mutations. For years, doctors have been designing treatment programs based on the tissue, location and staging of a patient's cancer. However, Envita has been looking at real-time genomics to help develop one of the most personalized cancer treatment programs in the world. When the word genetics is used, what it refers to is something called biomarkers and molecular profile targets. To first understand what biomarkers are, we must understand how cancer develops. Cancer is begun when a cause leads to the mutation of the DNA inside of a normal healthy cell. These causes can be anything from infections, chemical toxins, heavy metals, environmental influences and random genetic mutations. This animation is showing the human papillomavirus, or HPV virus, which is traditionally connected to cervical cancer. As the infection attacks a normal healthy cell, the DNA of the cell begins to mutate and a cascading effect happens inside the nucleus of the cell, thereby changing its genetic information and turning on cancer oncogenes. When cancer cells are formed, new genetic information is created and biomarkers can now be screened and detected. Biomarkers and molecular profiles are a series of attributes of the cancer cell which contain specific targets. After biomarker and molecular profiling is done on the cancer cell, doctors can match this information to help determine the most effective treatments. Many cancer treatment centers that are now offering genetic testing are using the patient's initial biopsies to test for these biomarkers. But over the years, we have found that the data doctors are using can be many times outdated. This is because cancer cells are always mutating and the time between the first biopsy and when the patient actually receives treatment can mean the biomarker information has changed. A new process called GTFC, or Genetically Targeted Fractionated Chemotherapy, may overcome all of these obstacles for patients. The process is both simple and complicated at the same time. First, a patient's blood is drawn. As a patient's blood is collected, it is not only collecting things such as red blood cells and platelets, but are also circulating cancer cells that are given off by the patient's tumour. Through fluid dynamics, the cancer cells are separated from the rest of the patient's blood. The cancer cell is then taken and analysed. Biomarkers and molecular profiles are then found which provide the latest targets for the best treatments in real time that are associated with a patient's specific cancer cell. By finding which biomarkers are present, certain drugs can be screened and matched to a patient's individual cancer. Now that this data is available, it is important to try and target as many biomarkers as possible. Traditionally, because of the toxicities of multiple drug combinations and the amount of toxic drugs patients are given, only a few biomarkers are targeted. With GTFC, patients receive multiple biomarker and molecular profile targets all at once. Fractionated and metronomic dosing is used to minimize all side effects and potentially improve tumor kill. Alongside targeted immunotherapy, GTFC is working to take personalized cancer treatment to a new level for patients.